All right, I'm here at TSB Live. This is my man Keon back What's here. Going on, man? Now, you are a veteran at these events. <laughs> I am. I've been in the program for six years now, going on number seven. Wow. So tell, tell, tell everybody a little bit about what you do. So I do a lot. Unfortunately, you know, when the folks come from the DMV, we just oh, that's right. I was like, you, 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 that's not, you sound like one of my Tommy Hanson right, right I'm there. a Tommy Jr. So. <laughs> but I help my wife, my beautiful wife right here. I run all her tech for a company called Vegan What. Make sure you follow us at Vegan What. But she's a person that helps you transition to a plant-based lifestyle. All right. Well, and this, well, well, let's get a few words from your wife. <laughs> get on the mic right there. So come on, stand on the mic. <laughs> Hey. Hey, so tell us a little bit about vegan what? <laughs> so we're a vegan lifestyle brand and we provide services to help simplify veganism for the everyday person so they can transition to a plant-based lifestyle and live a longer life with their families. And we provide ebooks, we do meal plans, and we do apparel as well. <laughs> Alright, and where can they find you again? At vegan what? Vegan what? <laughs> so y'all make sure y'all check them out. Young entrepreneurs here. Uh, we're all in Atlanta right now, but you're based out of where? California. Cali. <laughs> what part of Cali are you in? We're in the Los Angeles greater area. <laughs> all right. In the L.A. greater area fighting that traffic. <laughs> all right. Well, thank both of you. Tell me a little bit about your business. My name is Teal Turner. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we run a company, Charlotte Mobile Notary and Fingerprinting. Uh, we are a uh, mobile notary and fingerprinting scheduling agency. Uh, so we provide services for uh, high-end individuals, uh, for professionals, and for companies. All right. So you're in Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. But you spent some time in Maryland. In, so you see, this yeah. DMV thing is happening. You don't even go to DMV, That's right? right. That's right. So the M in the D. And so people always ask me, what does DMV mean? DC, <laughs> Maryland, Maryland, and Virginia. Virginia. That's right. So well, let's tell. Well, thank you so much for sharing about your business. Absolutely. And again, Keon, thank you. Uh, we're going to get more more from TSB Live 22, 2022 here in Atlanta. All right, here we are again in Atlanta with all of these great black entrepreneurs, TSB Live 22, show some love. All right, we are here and I want you all to understand this is representing black excellence and we are changing the narratives for our families, for generations to come as you see as we're going back down here, the line is long. And this is just the early, this is the, the mastermind, collaborative line, and people are getting ready. They are learning. This is all a part of their personal development and continuing. This is, again, how we bridge the gap, because if we have the resources, then there are all of the different things that we can do. And so I love to be in spaces like this because a lot of times um, they tell us that these spaces don't exist but these spaces do exist. You have to seek them out. They're not just gonna to come to you uh, because if you're waiting for them to come to you, they might not come. But in 2017, I had hit a plateau and this plateau was really where I had accomplished a lot. I didn't see, it was, you know, it's kind of like a, you know how you get those places in life and you're just like, well, here I am. What am I gonna do next? And uh, I came to a uh, conference headed up by my man Lamar Tyler and his wife Ronnie Tyler and they were speaking the language that I needed to hear and so and sadly in uh, many uh, black communities in America entrepreneurship is frowned upon is looked on as if it's you know some sort of negative but in reality what we're doing is working for someone else's entrepreneur efforts every day and giving them the resources and the labor and the talent and the skill uh, and so uh, as a result of that that is what you know we see um you know what why wealth is not transferred and passed down the way that it needs to be passed down so coming to places like this and seeing i've literally watched people go from making three thousand dollars a month to more than ten million dollars a year and that's not some you know you see that stuff and you're like man people couldn't do that but but you see the product that they had and you see exactly what it is that they do, and you see how it's very possible. And that reality, hey, good morning, good morning, all right. And you see that reality, and, and, and seeing that reality, you know that it's possible. And, and that's one of the things that I've grown to appreciate about this community, watching people establish confidence, establish financial resources, and, and all of that uh, at the same time. And I think that's one of the most 
brilliant aspects of being uh, a part of something like this. Now, I'm not one, and, and I'll tell you like this, I'm not the type of person that gets involved in different things and the rah, rah, rah stuff. And this, it's not that kind of event. It's not that type of thing at all. This is where people are coming with their ideas, their creativity, they're collaborating, and it's really, in essence, what happened to me. I came in wanting to really develop my uh, youth programs, Urban Change, Life Camp, and then I went to Africa. And from there, I stumbled upon, um, I stumbled upon the different, uh, the, the different relationships, you know, that, that I now have. So now with collaboration, it's taken me into a seven-figure travel business. In addition to everything else that I have going on, I'm able to employ people. Uh, I'm able to have, you know, to connect with people on a different level, and that, and that alone is uh, just worth the time, effort, and energy. So what I say to everyone is if you have an idea, if you have something that you want to do, don't let people talk you out. Because these people out here, I mean, you got naysayers on every corner. Don't let these people who don't already have a vision talk you out of it. And I know sometimes it's tough because you're surrounded by that stuff. But as you see behind me right here, all of these people have decided that they're not going to allow those narratives to shape their life or those conversations or those negative voices to shape their life. And they're changing their dynamics. They're recognizing the resources they have access to and they're educating themselves. And that's what I encourage you to do. You just, you don't know. And it could be a platform like this. It could be somewhere else. Whatever works best for you, you can do. But I strongly encourage, uh, I strongly encourage the, the connections because by doing it, we're able to, again, change these narratives, saying that you know, black people can't work together, they fight each other, and all that kind of stuff is put out there. Uh, and, you know, the other thing I really enjoy about this environment, people are not backbiting and all of that kind of stuff. You know, they're not acting like, you know, so they're, they're, hey, what's up? Good morning. So it's, it's just one of these things where the environment is just chill. That's the best way to say it. It's just chill. People, um, you know, people are enjoying the atmosphere and I think for me when I first got in I was just happy to be in the atmosphere and people not talking about a bunch of nonsense but really actually doing it and, and making some things happen and so that's the part hey bro I'm gonna try to get, talk to this brother right here come here brother come on come on come on come on, come on. I gotta put you on, put you on, uh. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, put this right here. Yes, sir, yes, sir, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not, not a microphone, wanna fight me. All right. No, it's all love. Uh, all right, so tell me, tell me about your business. Hey, it's Pro Black Health. Right. It's a black owned vitamin company, P R O B L K Health. But we have great products and services for wellness and health. But what's also unique about it is 50% of our net profits go to nonprofits that focus on eradicating health disparities in the black community. So it allows you to get better, healthier by making the community healthier as well. All right, so tell me a little bit about the vitamin. Tell me what, exactly what you what Yeah, so we got different vitamins. We got multivitamins, um, probiotics, organic green vitamins. We got apple cider vinegar. We got ashwagandha. We got multivitamins. We got vegan vitamins. So whatever you need, we got top quality, vegan, holla, uh, FDA approved, and it's doctor approved. As my wife's a doctor, and a doctor recommended, and doctor, doctor approved. All right, so how can we find you? You can find us at P-R-O-B-L-K Health, or you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and uh, you can find us in uh, some Walmart stores as well. All right, well, appreciate it, brother. Now, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my sample yes, right here. Yes, we got you right here. Yep, this is a sample of the mother. This is our apple cider vinegar, so I don't want to see y'all out there buying golly because it's a black-owned apple cider vinegar gummy, and they're vegan. They got the mother in it, which is what we need, and that's why they call it the mother, so go pick them up. All right, bro. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Oh, yeah. Here. I'm going to take that with me. <laughs> you want to move? Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll be back with more from Atlanta. Open up your eyes and see.
Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family uh, do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on our children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa, and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.